Listen, we had some really uh, tragic news this week in the horse racing world. Uh, we received a big shock last Monday. Many of you don't know the name John Asher, but uh, we can tell you that his fingerprints were all over the Kentucky Derby. Uh, John passed away suddenly this past Monday at the age of 62. Uh, he was the vice president of communications down at Churchill Downs for many years, and he knew as much or, or probably more than anybody about the Kentucky Derby. He did countless interviews leading up to the Derby every year. He was the face of the race in Louisville, and he was known for his smile and his laugh. It was like John never had a bad day. Uh, I went to Louisville back in April and interviewed him for this program, and one thing that we talked about how, is how the Kentucky Derby is probably bigger now than it's ever been, and it has never lost its relevance. Derby's a, I think, a wonderful mixture of, of, of excitement of today with, the, with the, you know, our physical plant here. We spent $300 million on the racetrack since, since 2001, trying to improve it and, and bring the facility into the 21st century. Uh, but yet the central event on the first Saturday in May, those two minutes uh, early Saturday evening on the first Saturday in May, harken back hundreds of years. And uh, not, not just to the origin of the horse, but, you know, America's agrarian past of what, you know, what in this region was, you know, it's a, it's a major metropolitan area and has been for years, but uh, was once just farmland on the Ohio River. And all that comes together on the first Saturday in May and, 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 and just climaxed in those two minutes. And I just think it's... It, it's so many things. It's a, it's a great sports event. It's a great entertainment spectacular. Uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful uh, social event, but it's also a great piece of Americana. John Asher. John Asher. John Asher. John Asher. Family members confirmed that John Asher died apparently while on vacation. John Asher was the face of Churchill Downs. You could hear that passion. You could see his love for racing in the Kentucky Derby. I knew his voice long before I knew John. I was honored to get to know him. Well, welcome to the Kentucky Derby. I'm Jill Byrne alongside John Asher. And the Run for the Roses coming up on Saturday, May 5th. It's a, a day earlier this year than before. That means all of you with a horse in the Derby will be able to sweat profusely over the next few days. Yep. John Asher was the rock behind the post position draw for the Kentucky Derby. He just was so smart on so many levels and pre-Google, if you had a question, you just ask Asher, and he knew the answer. He's just a wealth of information. But if there was anything within his power that he could help you with, he did. The head of Churchill Downs, to the mayor, to congressman, to media, to anyone who knew John Asher, the loss is devastating. He loved horse racing, his beloved Western Kentucky University, his home state, Kentucky, and above all else, he loved his family. As president of the track, I was always asked, what's it like to work for John Asher? is the greatest honor of my life. He's the guy I would have to tell, go home, please, John. You, you need to get some rest. Sometimes he'd get rest in his office. Our deep respect and love goes out to John's wife, Dee, his daughters, Heather, Aaron, and Emma, and grandsons, Cameron, and Caden tonight, along with his brother, Tim, and of course, his entire Churchill Downs family. It is now 249 days until the 145th running of the Kentucky Derby, a countdown John Asher knew right off the top of his head. And so the Kentucky Derby will go on the first Saturday in May every year, but it won't quite be the same without John Asher. Condolences to his family and to his countless friends. John Asher passed away at the age of 62.